welcome back to Math Wizard Tutor. Today's video is about transformational geometry and I'll be discussing with you reflection. So how do we do reflection? So, so reflection is just flipping the image across the line of symmetry. So it's just like you're facing a mirror. For example, we have triangle EFG. So I will just move my figure just below the line of symmetry. So it must have the same distance from the line of symmetry and flip and the image is now reflected. So for example, we have trapezium A, B, C, D, and we are going to reflect the trapezium A, B, C, D over X axis. It means our X axis is our line of symmetry. So what we're going to do is to identify first the coordinates of our A, B, C, and D. So our A is two, three, B is three, one, C is 5, 1, then D is 7, 3. To list the new coordinates, supposedly A sub 1, B sub 1, C sub 1, then D sub 1. When we do reflection over X axis, we are going to retain our X values and we are going to change the sign of our Y values opposite of our Y values. So for example, all of our Y values are positive, then it will become negative. Just copy x is 2, y is 3, therefore opposite of 3 becomes negative 3. Okay, next b. For b, you have 3, 1, so 3, then 1 will become negative 1. c, 5, 1 will become 5, negative 1. Then point d, 7, 3 will become 7, negative 3. So when we do reflection over x-axis, we are going to change our y values into its opposite. So now we have our points. We have a sub 1, 2, negative 3. You plot it on the quadrant 4 because positive negative will be in quadrant 4. b sub 1 is 3, negative 1. Uh, C sub 1 is 5, 1. Then D sub 1 is 7, negative 3. And later on, you are going to connect the dots to form your figure. So this is now your reflected figure. So from quadrant 1, reflected over x-axis, it will move into quadrant 4. All right, so we have trapezium A, B, C, D, and we are going to reflect it over y-axis, it means y-axis is our line of symmetry. From quadrant 1, we are going to reflect the image of trapezium ABCD to quadrant 2. When we reflect over y-axis, our rule is that the coordinates of our points x, y should be reflected into negative x, comma, why? It means our x values now will be changed into its opposite sign. We are going to name our coordinate for A, B, and C. Our A is 1, uh, 3. Our B is 2, 1. Our C is 3, 1. Then our D is 5, 3. Then take the opposite of your x values. So I will highlight our x values here we are going to take the opposite of our x. So if it is positive x, it will become negative x. Opposite of positive 1 is negative 1. A sub 1 value, new coordinates will become negative 1, positive 3. For B, we have 2, 1, so it will become negative 2, 1. C, 3, 1, it will become x will become negative 3. So your coordinate is negative 3, 1. Next, D is 5, 3. So it will become negative 5, 3. Now these are your new coordinates for your reflected figure. So uh, we will plot the points in quadrant 2. A sub 1, negative 1, 3. B sub 1, negative 2, 1. C sub 1, negative 3, 1 and d sub 1 negative 5 3 after which we can connect the dots to form our reflected image trapezium a b c d in quadrant one is now reflected to quadrant two 
for our last example, we are going to reflect quadrilateral ABCD across the origin. It means that the figure from quadrant 1 will be reflected in quadrant 3. So our rule is for the coordinates X and Y will be changed into its opposites. So X is positive, Y is positive, so it will be changed into negative X comma negative Y. So first identify vertices or the coordinates of your vertices A, B, C, D. R, A is 3, 4. B is 2, 2. C is 4, 1. And point T or vertex T is 8, 2. The next thing to do is just prepare for your coordinates A sub 1, B sub 1, C sub 1, then D sub 1. Then take note of its opposite. So our points are all positive from quadrant 1. We're going to move it to quadrant 3. It means all of them must be negative. So let's start from point A. 3, 4 will take the opposite of X. will become negative 3. 4, opposite of 4 is negative 4. Point A sub 1 now is negative 3, negative 4. For point B, we have... 2, 2, so it will become negative 2, comma, negative 2. Point C, 4, 1, will become negative 4, negative 1. Point D is 8, 2, will become negative 8, and negative 2. So now your points, your coordinates now are complete. Then you may now plot the new coordinates in quad 1, 3. So A sub 1, negative 3, negative 4. B sub 1, negative 2, negative 2. C sub 1, negative 4, negative 1. D sub 1, negative 8, negative 2. Then you can connect the dots to form your quadrilateral. Now the figure ABCD from quadrant 1 is directly and correctly reflected across the origin to quadrant 3. I hope you learned something from today's video. Thank you for watching.